News 4's John Hayes is live at the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office. John, the sheriff just gave an update on this case. He did, Adria. The suspect is accused of kidnapping, robbing, and assaulting the victim. Court documents really just painting a potential picture of what the motive could be here in these alleged crimes. But we are still left with so many questions. Authorities issuing a warrant for Kadarius Capel's arrest Monday. Kidnapping, robbery, and aggravated assault and battery. It comes just days after witnesses at this Northwest Metro shopping complex told us they saw multiple men in mask kidnap Isabel Brown at gunpoint. Oklahoma County Sheriff Tommy Johnson says his office had to work with the FBI to help. We're able to get pictures of the incident from a camera on the victim's Tesla. Investigators were able to run that picture through facial recognition software and got a match. Court documents say Brown was carrying $250,000 with her at the time of the crime. Is it unusual in cases like this that you all have victims riding around with $250,000 in their vehicle? I will tell you that certainly does, you know, uh, pique your interest as, as to why that happens. Um, uh, and, and through the investigatory process, we will find out why. Brown also told investigators Capels beat her, choked her to the point she became unconscious and threatened her life at gunpoint. We're going to pray that she's able to live through this and move on. Brown told investigators the suspects cash app themselves $10,000 from her account to one of theirs and met up with another man at a gas station to divide up the cash. Authorities are not ready to say how many people may be involved. We don't know how many um, because this is a very fluid situation. Documents further detail Brown was asked by a suspect if she wanted to go to Arkansas, if she recognized any of them and if anyone would pay a ransom to keep her alive. The sheriff's office says despite how tense things were, she was dropped off after a statewide alert was set out alive. Our best eyes and ears are you all out in the community who are seeing things go on, who are seeing things uh, come about, and you communicate well with law enforcement. And a big question also brought up during the news conference. Does the sheriff's office have enough evidence to determine at this point if this is a credible investigation in crime or could still possibly be a hoax? The sheriff said that point is still under investigation. I'm live from Oklahoma City, John Hayes, Oklahoma's News 4. You're right, John. A lot of pieces to this puzzle still to be fit together. We'll look for your follow-up.